Hello and welcome to A-Level Biology with Miss Estra. In this video, we're going to be going through the speed of conductance in an axon. So looking at how quickly the action potential can move along an axon. If you are new here, then just click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. So factors that affect the speed, um, there are three key factors that you need to be aware of. Number one is the fact that the axon is myelinated, which we can see here, you have these myelin sheets, and that results in saltatory conduction, which we'll go through later. The diameter of the axon, and the axon is this long, thin cable connecting the axon terminal to the cell body. So the diameter of that. And finally, the temperature. So let's go through each of those to see exactly how and why they affect the speed. So first of all, the myelination that results in saltatory conduction. Just a reminder then, as I was briefly saying, the axon is the long fibre that conducts the nervous impulse. And again, we can see that here, the axon is running along the middle. Schwann cells are here in yellow and they wrap around the axon and that is what forms the myelin sheath. And these Schwann cells are lipids and because they are lipids, they actually um, insulate because they prevent charged ions um, to be able to pass from the axon to the surroundings. There are gaps between these myelin sheaths though, so those Schwann cells do not cover literally the entire length of the axon, you have gaps. And these gaps are known as the nodes of Rambeer. Now the action potential therefore has to jump between the exposed parts of the axon, which are the nodes of Rambeer because that is the only place where ions can move in and out, which if you have a look up here, and if you look back at the action potential video, that is how action potentials are generated. Now the reason therefore it speeds up the movement of an action potential along an axon is, you only have to generate an action potential in limited spaces. So we can see here it starts at this point, jumps to the next node, jumps to the next and the next. So it's only three very short distances on the axon that an action potential has to be generated. In contrast, if it was unmyelinated, then every single part of the axon would have to generate an action potential. And that is why it would take much, much longer for an action potential to reach um, the final end of the axon. So the second factor is the diameter of the axon. Now, the wider the diameter, the faster the speed of conductance. And if you think back to physics at GCSE, it's the same idea with electricity running through a wire. The wider the wire, the less resistance and therefore the faster the um, speed of the electricity. Now in this case, the key reason is if you have a wider diameter, you have fewer ions leaking out. So you have less leakage of ions and therefore action potentials can be generated faster because you'll reach that threshold potential of minus 55 within the axon much quicker because you don't have ions leaking out. And then the last one is temperature. And there's two key reasons why a higher temperature will increase the speed of conductance up to a certain temperature anyway. The first thing is because action potentials are generated by ions moving, it is facilitated diffusion and active transport, and the facilitated diffusion um, will be increased at a higher temperature because the ions will be moving faster. The second reason is linked to enzymes and active transport at the sodium ion potassium ion pump. Now that pump is co-transport, but it's also a type of active transport and therefore it requires energy in the form of ATP. And ATP is generated in respiration, which is an enzyme controlled reaction. So as the temperature increases up to the optimum, which is typically body temperature for an enzyme, that will mean more and more ATP will be produced because respiration will occur faster 
and if there's more ATP, more active transport, and that pump will be able to work quicker. So that is it for the factors that affect the speed of conductance along the axon. I hope you found it helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up.